Well, this is it. Our journey has come to its end. Our lives, as we know them, are over. What? Colin, we're adults now! <laughs> no, 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 seriously, though. I just wanted to say thanks for coming out, fellow breathers. We are officially college graduates. So congrats, monkeys. There's beer in the pool, uh, condoms in the fridge. And if you can't be careful, there's a clinic like three blocks down. They'll do you cheap if you give them our promo code. Okay, we came, we saw. If we leave now, we can still make the donut place. Let's go Lola, before we get Milo. recognized. I almost didn't recognize you. Hi, Allison. Can you believe we graduated? And what better way to end school than with an indigenous late century style mixer coupled with property damage and substance abuse? Well... Oh, I love that... that... Y your outfit, Lola. Yeah, this is... it's fun, right? I kept telling Lola we should have hung out with you guys more. Then why didn't you? You don't need me to go. We're not each other's sidekicks. Because he needs his wingman. Wing human. Who wants to get drunk? Let's get a drink, like right now. Come on, the table's right, it's here. Oh, whatever speeds this process up. Oh, and I'm sorry. This is my cousin, Katie. She's gonna be starting here in the fall. Hey. I was just telling her about you guys, how you've been friends forever, like a weirdly long time. Everyone always thinks you're dating. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, never, ever, ever. I know now, but... Okay, don't need to salt the earth. Leave me a fingernail of dignity here. No, I'm, I'm just saying it'd be too weird now. You're wonderful. You know you're wonderful. But you can't date someone you've already seen cry at a coffee commercial. Let's drink! Come on, they have them right over here. Are we getting that drink, Milo? Hi. Is this... Is this where the, uh, the ales are? It's all $2 vodka mixed with $3 lemonade. Want one? Yes, please. Milo? Lola? It really helps pave over those awkward beats in the conversation. You could almost say it literally gives you more options in life. It's evolutionary, you know? I read somewhere that monkey humans invented alcohol. Yeah, uh, I probably need something to, uh, to settle me a little. Don't get too settled. I'm not dragging your ass through the quad ever again. That shady chiropractor said my skeleton looked like a question mark. Yeah, so, do you guys want one? They're getting warm. Do we yeah, sure. Why not? Okay, fine. I, uh, always take one if he does. And vice versa. Makes it so we can lie to each other about how drunk we're getting. <laughs> Attention! All skin bags who now have to pay taxes. Please make your way to the dance floor. It's time to shake. <laughs> okay, really quick, give Katie meaningful life advice about higher learning. Mine was don't major in philosophy, law, any form of medicine, or theology, because those are all career suicide. Oh, and don't buy your books from the campus store. Wear pants. Not just for when you're out, either. You're not top cat. And get yourself one of those sperm-killing cyborg arm implants. I am not playing. Oh, uh, okay? Better not see your ass posting about a flare in sciatica, all right? Yeah, that's good, thanks. Keep in touch. Allison Haynes, ladies and gentlemen. And seriously, don't take offense at the... I meant it when I said you were wonderful. No, it's fine. Allison's just an idiot. Can't wait to read her posts about her summer vacay. <laughs> yeah, she seemed a little, uh, sloopy. Sloopy? Sloppy Christ, I can't even say the damn. Well, whatever. I'm not gonna let that be the last meaningful conversation you ever have at school. No, if you wanna go, we can go. Oh, no, 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 no. We're leaving. This is us just saying bye to some folks on our way out the door. So pick whoever looks the least stupid and make this quick. <laughs> you crack me up, though. Like, have you ever thought that what you consider your personality is is just the dream your unconscious body is having? Because I have. And all my teachers said I was very smart. <laughs> maybe, maybe your personality. <clears throat> Wouldn't it be funny if, if like we all had souls and and you like didn't, y you didn't know how to feel. Your Dido. Milo. Milo. Yes. You're the one that gave blood and then immediately threw up all over the auditorium in the annex. That... it wasn't that bad. <laughs> no, it was pretty bad. Hey, at least they'll be remembered. Embarrassing becomes endearing in, like, a decade. Well, you're almost halfway there. 
Kappa Sigma gave you a nickname, right? The Recycler? Chunkamunk. Or was it Colonel Shitlips? Well, it was nice catching up. Have a great summer. Bye. That? Okay, I know that could have gone better. Shitlips. I mean, Milo. <laughs> Who cares, man? Seriously, they're just being dickbags. Well, it doesn't feel that way. It feels like I'm a freshly born antelope just learning how to walk. I should know how to make adult friends by now. You just make it so much harder than it has to be. Okay, Sven fucking Ghoulie. You, you go and talk to people and, and, and teach me. Show me the ropes. Let's... I, I want to see how easy it is. Hey, if that's what you want. My trick is just remembering that everybody's born screaming in terror. Whatever it takes. Go forth and show me how it's done. No, 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 no. When, when the guy was all, not today, and then the smoking hot chick was all, uh... Right? And those effects! Oh, I couldn't even tell those were in his hands. <gasps> and the score? Oh, if he doesn't get his Oscar. Oh, my God, I couldn't help but overhear you guys jizzing all over another artistically useless piece of capitalistic military-grade garbage. <laughs> Don't people understand? These things are just commercials selling a lifestyle of pampered ignorance. Who are you? Hey! This is Lola. I'm... Colonel Shitlips. We got it. Oh, come on. I... That was... Lola, did you say? Are you auditing a student or... shadowing some classes? Yeah, it's fine. I get it. Everybody blends together. Like you, right? I don't remember you specifically, just like everyone else that's exactly like you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, uh... That, that's funny. <laughs> okay, well... Good to see you guys. Keep it... keep it up. Bye, Lip Flaps! Bye, Ebola! Milo, you wanted to mingle. Why are you sheepdogging me? Lola, they don't even remember you. And the only reason they remember me is because I pooped out of my mouth once. I mean, how sad is this? We went to the school. These are our peers. Who cares what any of these people think about us? We graduated, remember? We are done with these idiots. Lola. College was a non-stop, inescapable popularity contest where the winners rule over an imaginary world. You think anyone in society is gonna care what they called you in college? What's gonna be etched on your metallic space crypt will be what you did in the actual real world. And the real world starts right fucking now. Everyone, hairy people, your attention please. Uh, stop the awesome music. Is someone named Milo and Lola here? Actually, this is... That's probably two separate people. Fuck yeah, we're here. Milo and Lola in the house. What? Milo, Lola, I'm very sorry to tell you this, but both your parents were just run over by a train. What? They were scissored in half, but the wheels are keeping their guts in place. But as soon as they move the train again, their intestines will fall out of their bodies and they'll die. The EMTs are keeping them alive so you have time to be with them in their final moments. What? It's their last request. Oh, fucking Jesus. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. I'm so happy it's Friday, right? Thank God I don't have to do my kegels. Uh, holy... Holy shit! Uh, are, are you...? What? Is this a... <laughs> oh, look at them! They, 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 they still think they're alive! They think they're alive! Uh, what? I... What is... <laughs> look at his dumb face! Okay, what the fuck is going on? You freaks should know that my uncle's a volunteer fireman, so I can get an axe whenever I want. You want to know what's going on? Well, we'll tell you what's going on. Hey, what the hell's going on in here? Uh, Mr. Matamantis, we were just assisting in the transition I between... I to hear it. I told you guys to wash the floors with pony blood, not fuck with the newborns. Clean all this shit up. I mean it. And Milo, Lola, you're late. Luckily, there's a processor down the road. And you better double time it if you want to get in before close. Uh, double... Double time it? Whoa, now I'm impressed. Are you like three kids under there or one Bosnian? Sorry to break this to you, but I'm not a parade float. What? Th what? You died. Died? Ten minutes ago. I'd head to the process station now if I were you. What the? I. Uh, okay. Let's, uh, let's go get 
processed. I, I and the rest of you? Put all this crap away. Some evil nuns are dying in a bus crash tomorrow. So, I want this place spotless. Hey, you're, I got you're tickets probably to the used to this, but I, we a have a couple tonight. of questions. Wrong. I can't really you want the door there. Time. I'm not a door. Go down the road. The processor will explain everything. Get in the grooves there. It should be gross. You should feel gross if you're cleaning right. We got to the party. Was there a party? What do I know? Hey. Hi, hey, how's it going? Yeah, Tuesdays are always slow. The custodians get bored. You know how it is. But the processing station's just down the way there. Start walking. You can't miss it. I can't even remember, like, when did we go to that party? Was there a party? How did we even die? I can barely remember anything. Look at this place. What, what are we even standing on? Is this a rock? Why, why is it sticking to my shoes? You know what? Screw it. I don't even... This has to be a mistake. We, we had plans. And people can't die if they have plans. Look, right now, I can maybe remember 20 full days of my whole entire life, so I can't really say with absolute certainty I didn't purposely run over a giraffe at some point. Uh, I just can't believe this is happening! Hell cannot be real. It just doesn't make any sense. It's cheating! The whole universe shouldn't be that train station where I had my socks stolen! Hey, Milo, I'm as surprised as you are, okay? My mom made me go to church until I was 12. I mean, I, I just sat there and read Mad Magazine until I stopped hearing, Can I get a witness? Just, this is wrong. Way wrong. And, and, and there better be somebody at this station whose job it is to file paperwork somewhere. And, and, and we'll, we'll get this. They'll fix it. It'll get fixed. We're, we'll be fine. Or they won't, and this is our new existence. Wait, 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 look at this. It says, the scales of judgment, where Osiris weighed Satan against a feather in a drunken bet to see who gained the most weight over winter break? Hey, hey, either one of you guys, Jimmy Bolanger? James Whitney Bolanger? Uh, what, Jimmy who? Okay, well, judging by your complexion, you're probably not the plantation owner who was drowned by his kids, so. Well, sorry to bother you. Have a good one. Okay. Marcy Sullivan? Marcy Sullivan. Oh, yes? Here. Here! Marcy, how you doing? Mm, not too good. Yeah, yeah, I know. Just proceed down to table three, if you please. Thank you very much. Take as much. Take all day to get there. Yeah, there you go. Okay. All right, now. Lola. Lola Wolf. Is there a Lola Wolf here? Uh, present. Ah, oh, you still have your mouth. Great. How about Sang Bong? Is Sang Bong here? Milo, you're up. Sang Bong? Anybody know this guy? Uh, I... my friends usually call me Milo. Uh, a little over-eager pluralizing friends there, but okay, sure. This... okay, this is weird. It says you two are going together. Uh, what does that mean? Proceed on to table two, please. Uh, I'd like to get home before my wife gets the good spot in the garage. All right, moving, moving right along. Table two, okay, that's... this must be us. You know, it's funny, I... I'm kind of... I feel like I'm sort of adjusting already. Like, I've just 
I'm getting some level of emotional control, at least. Oh that... my god, Milo, we're dead. We're fucking dead. And we are in hell. How is this not hitting me before? We are in hell and we are dead. Yeah, I know. It's. There doesn't seem to be any bright sides here. Right? Hi, guys. I'm Barbados. No relation to the island, which uh, I hate that I even have to say that now. I'll be doing your personality audit before the processing commences. I have your file here on my phone. <laughs> Sorry, I'm coming from the gym. Look, we there has there's been a mistake. We don't we don't even know why or how we died. So yeah, you know how when you're a kid you stop remembering your infancy past a certain age? It's because your brain reconfigures itself to make more room. Ditto here. So when you pierce the mortal veil, only the important stuff stays. Phone numbers, the smell of your mother's hair. So, okay, so do you know how we died? I surely don't. No, sir, no, ma'am, not my department. I don't do collections. Wait, wait, make more room? For what? We're dead. And how? You're gonna be here for a very long time. Like, for eternity. And a lot of new, mostly painful memories need their baby rooms made up before delivery. Which means the spank bank is getting converted whether you like it or not. Look, I know what this is. I've seen white guys bribe hotel clerks in movies, okay? Just tell us what you want to let us go home. Hmm? Oh, sorry, I wasn't listening. <laughs> Ow. Okay, this is novel, you two going together. Normally that's reserved for murder, suicides, and moms with albino sons. <laughs> but we'll tag team it, all right? Answer the following questions without thinking. Milo, regardless of the truth, have you ever suspected a lover was cheating on you? There are no wrong answers. Uh, actually, it's hard to remember, but I want to say, yeah, I think I have. You think you have? Okay, cool. All right, Lola, which image is closest to representing what was your ideal life? Uh, okay, even though I'm sure this is a trap, the exec running shit. <laughs> I would have guessed that one for you. Ooh, I would have. It's so funny. You guys, can I just say, you're doing really well. Really? <laughs> oh, God. Come the fuck on, man. Okay, you see that head over there? Uh-huh. I, I mean, ugh. <laughs> All right, fling that thing up into the hamper like you're George Gervin. Good hand-eye coordination. I'll put you down as functioning mammal. <laughs> Lightning oh, round! This is a word association, so just say the first thing that pops into your head. Ring! Uh, phone? Lola, drugs! Yes, please? Milo, crowds! Uh, uh, tired. Milo, I mean, Lola, break! Like, breaking bones? All the way from the deepest, darkest broom closets of your mind. Lola, what? The reigning pride of your ceaseless sorrow. The sultan of revulsion. The drain on your brain. That pebble in your shoe you just can't get out. I give you your personal demon! How in tarnation are you, man? I'm just so excited to be working with you. With anyone, really. It's, it's just, I am so ready for this shit. We're gonna be a team. A real partnership. I want you to know that... Oh, crap. There's two of you? I... I'm so sorry, little Lydia there. Let, uh, oh, let me start over, okay? Whew. I'm Sister Mary Warborn, and I will be assisting you guys with your mental anguish here in hell. We're gonna be brain bunkmates. You're hungry, I'm hungry. Yeah, hi. Hi! Sister Wormhorn here is your personal demon. Slow down, Barbados. What does that mean? Well, it's a comfort inhibitor only you and other demons can see. And it's so during your off hours, there's still somebody to nudge you into traffic sometimes. Off hours? Okay. Well, what, is, uh, what does that mean?
Yeah, Dev, no. The fact that you only ate free range chicken doesn't change anything. Okay, now that you have all been appointed your personal demons, we can now assign you your torture. Your torture will take place during regular office hours by a certified sadist. Exempting holidays and Medusa's birthday, even though I don't know why we bother that, that bitch still says she's 39. Her torture? I, I thought, doesn't hell just like generically suck? Yeah, I didn't know there were seat assignments. I would think it an apparentness that cannibals and canoe tippers shouldn't get the same treatment. But yes, you all get different shit that happens to you. Abigail Cunningham? Yes? Your bones will be broken every day by a ball-peen hammer for the sin of repeatedly misusing the express lane in grocery stores. But I always have more than 15 things. Ah! Oh my god, Milo, she's... Dev Sedona and Marcy Sullivan. Uh, no. It's you. I, we just did this like two minutes ago. Milo, this is it. Okay, but this is, we gotta get out of here. Lola, what the hell do you think we can even... Now, for robbing all those liquor stores, Dev will be suspended from a pole by his genitals. What? While children use your head like a tetherball, weather permitting. Marcy, your tits will be consumed by snapping turtles, only for them to regrow larger every day, giving you intense back pain when you jog. But, but, we, we only rob Jewish liquor stores. <laughs> now, Milo and Lola, for the sin of... <laughs> For the sin of being too late to get assigned to punishment, you get to wander the city until tomorrow. Have fun. See you later. I'm going to get drunk. Wait, what was our crime? Our, uh, our sin? Our hours are nine to six, guys. Can't you just tell us now? Come back in the morning when we're open. Okay, but... But what are we supposed to do until then? Sightsee, meet people, might as well carve out your shitting hole. And hey, don't worry, you'll be having maggots forced up your nose soon enough. Well, what the hell are we supposed to do now? Hey, you two could have told me that guy got another ride. What? Bowlinger. Jimmy? I was looking for him earlier. The guy got another ride, that's all. You could have fucking told me. Huh? The guy got another ride? Are you like his his friend? I'm just fucking with you. Sorry, you're confused. Uh, it's, I'm, I'm being mean. Okay, I'm a psychopomp. Friend of Urshanabi, Tooth of Phlegius, Charon's lost dog. Uh-huh. I'm a, I'm a cab driver. A ferryman, to be a specific. Oh, a psychopomp. Uh, I'm sure the answer to this is no, but can you, like, ferry us out of here. That depends. Where do you want to go? Um, home. Topside. Earth? If, if that's, if, if that's possible. Home. Mm. The props assist the house until the house is built. Yeah, doctors do warn you that you don't get to take the drapes when that fastball catches the side of your head. You're saying we're stuck here? She's saying we're stuck here? No, it's, it's just, it's a tall order. That's all. Look, I just clocked in, but I need a fare. You guys look clean enough. You wanna roll with me on a chore I gotta do? It's at first an Izzard, I gotta see about a friend, but I'll introduce you to some people, huh? I'm Sam, by the way, Sam Hill. Short for Samantha. Short for Silithial Machidial. Milo. Mola. Mr. Milo, Miss Lola, I'm nicer than I look. What do you say? Again, the same feeling I did when that guy in the van tried to sell me a raccoon. I'm choosing to trust this. What the fuck else are you gonna do with your night, right? Come on, my ride's this way. Won't be a long trip. Uh, so, uh, hell, huh? Yeah, the days have worn away, haven't they? I can tell you cats were new. Dead-eyed and pig-tailed. So I guess I'll hit the questions everyone has. First of all, whatever church you went to, whatever faith, they were a little right and a lot wrong. And if you didn't go to church, you were kind of right too. It's not like God takes attendance. Uh, reincarnation's a thing, but it's kind of like having triplets. It's pretty rare. Usually means there are a lot of hormone supplements involved. Ah, <sighs> here's my little bundle of joy. I should give her a name. Never really had the time though, or the desire. Hop on in, but mind the leather.
Oh, okay. It's uh the the seat's wet. Oh yeah, that's probably your idea. Okay, everybody in? Great. So, you're dead, you're in hell, it's bewildering, I know. But like moving to a new place or cutting up a body, it's best to just focus on one thing at a time. So, for instance, what the fuck are we driving on right now? This is the River Styx. It's an immaterial, trans-dimensional spirit course that connects all the little islands of hell. And provides fairy women like me a job. Um, islands of hell? Hell isn't just, like, one big land mass. What you think of hell is what's called the Nine Circles. The, uh, conurbation, where everyone gets tortured during punch -in. But outside the Nine Circles is an infinite chain of islands we call Nowhere. And it's what you're in now. God's coloring book, I guess you could say. Everything comes from the abstract. The abyss. The outer realm where he set his dark materials. It's a long story. Longer than we have time for. Right now, at least. But hang tight, we're almost there. Okay, here we are. Watch your step getting off. I know sometimes you kids like to play at the shore, but you fuckers sink fast, so. And I ran out of the house without my flippers today, so just keep your eyes on each other's toes. Hey, I played water polo in gym class voluntarily, okay? Milo and I can egg beat her like our lives depend on it. I'm sure you can, Lola. I'm, I'm sure that if you were on the Titanic, hey, we'd have a lot hey, more Polish Sam, people today. Sam! What? Did you, did you hear the one about the blind guy who walked into a bar? He walked into the table and shares next. <laughs> <laughs> Get some better material. How? So, not that either of you asked, but this is First and Izzard. I think the tourism board calls it the bludgeoning capital of nowhere. So, uh... Use that information as you will. Just don't shake everybody's hand, is what I'm saying. And look at people's shoes when you talk to them. First and Izzard? Why is it called First and Izzard? How the hell am I supposed to know? Why is New York called New York? Hey, excuse me. We're trying not to get dumbass all over our pants here. Wait, why'd we come here? If it's so dangerous, I mean, these are the types of people you think we should know? They're the only type you can know. If you wanted a different crowd, you probably shouldn't have drowned all those kittens. Goddamn times, you'll get your stomach back when you learn to behave. Sam, hey, how's it going? Eh, pretty good, pretty good. Is, uh, Forney in there? Fornius, yeah, he's spitting with his dick somewhere. All the kids with you? Yeah, they're cute, right? I'm playing tour guide on my coffee break. All right, well, anything happens, I get their hair. Okie smokey, who's drinking? Cause I'm buying. Just kidding, you can drink for free, cause we're in hell. So we're gonna be all right in there, right? Sure, just uh, tuck your arms into your shirt sleeves. So, whenever you're ready. The door is just right here for entry into the first bar of your you, magical um, adventure. Okay. Yeah, I think he's taking a time out. Here goes nothing. A bottle for everyone. Is that crazy? It's fun, right? My balls hadn't dropped yet. How would I think that was funny? Boom. Just drink it. Don't even well, look at it. Well, if it isn't the smelliest pile of puke in all of nowhere, Samantha Hill. How the heck fire are ya? Hey, Forney! Perfect timing. Guys, this is Fornius. Fornius, this is Milo and Lola. So you adopted two human children, and those are the names you gave them? I didn't pick their names. But you did adopt them. They're not mine. I'm just showing them around. We're not kids, all right? I got a savings account and everything. Tommy's having his party upstairs. Want a drink? You read my mind. Wait, Sam. Relax. We'll get into your thing in a bit. Just follow me. Uh, uh, all right. Fornius, with one F, and we're just going upstairs to a uh, Tommy's death day party. See you up there, kids. Um, excuse me. Private party. But our friend just went up. Sam, she's on the list. You ain't. 
But, sir, we really need to talk to our friend. It's urgent. Well, do you have any other power for River to sort you out? Talk to her then. Tommy boy, the man of the hour. <laughs> hey, Father Van Dyke. Get over here. I got a new cocktail I need reviewed. Well, I'll happily be your willing test pilot. I think that's the guy having the party upstairs. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I don't want to wear it. Get a... him to invite us up. Yes, let's get a drink. All right, Tommy. Sorry for the wait. What can I get you? Ah, oh, jeez. I don't know. What's, uh, what do you recommend? Top shelf. A case of lung batter just came in. <laughs> oh, God. Too bitter. Hey, uh, Tommy. Or, uh, Thomas. I, I should probably... Hey, can't you stupid pieces of shit see there's a conversation happening here? <laughs> Van Dyke, it's okay. They're new. You're new, right? How you liking hell so far? Was the suicide pact worth it? Or uh, eating 50 raw eggs? I don't know what young people are into nowadays. Well, it's supposed to suck, right? Would it be insulting if I said that I'm kind of surprised I still have all my teeth? No, the insults here are typically more deliberate. She's Lola, I'm Milo. We're actually just trying to- Wait, 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 wait. you're new. We gotta have a toast. Do a shot with me, come on. Van Dyke, three brass bulls, if you please. Sure thing. If you ate before you got here... Um, sure. Our livers are unkillable. Might as well take advantage. <laughs> wow, really? Guys, you should be honored. Lola is not the type for spontaneous, uh, revelry. <laughs> Perfect. Let's go. Okay, cats and jammer kids, listen up. Above ground booze is watered down milk, but here, this shit ain't two percent. Father Van Dyke's been serving alcohol since Jesus was still overcharging for kitchen cabinets. Around the bend. Let's go. Cheers. <coughs> Ah, uh, goes down smooth. Now, you should notice you feel a little empowered, right? Maybe a little freer? Or if you have eyeballs, you'll notice you have an extra choice floating around in your brain. Hey, you're right. Feels kind of weird. Like I grew an extra toe. You'll get used to it. But be careful what you order. Different drinks affect people different ways. Like, you know, for instance... Hey, Jim Jum, what the fuck? What the shit is that you got on your head? <laughs> uh, sir, I'm not, a uh, Jim Jum. Ah, sure you are, Jim Jum. <laughs> Why, I even called you, you... Hey, dickhead, get the hell out of my friend's face before you start pissing me off. Jesus, you, you don't have to raise your voice at me. I know when I'm not wanted, I can, I can read body languages. Where's the latrine anyway? See you later. See? Having an extra little bit of confidence can really help keep the sailing smooth down here. Or, you know, it can get the shit kicked out of you. Whichever side the coin lands on. But like I was saying, brass bulls tend to make people a little ornery. But try different drinks for different results. Christ, they sound like a fucking car commercial. Ted, Ted, Tommy, are we having a rematch or have your balls not grown back yet? <laughs> hey, I'm coming over there, all right? Nice meeting you kids. Crap, we should... We're missing our chance, we should go ask him. Right? I mean, he's our ticket upstairs. Um, yeah, but we should probably get a drink first. Don't have to twist my arm. Uh, barkeep? What's, uh, on the menu this morrow's eve? A fine selection, let me tell you. of anguish. Is it good? Don't ask me, I just work here. Girly, what's your poison? Uh, just same as him, I guess. Uh, I thought, don't the demons torture the humans? How come everyone's just hanging out like it's happy hour at Chili's? Look, nobody here wants to be doing what they're doing. It's a job, and people understand that. Most people. And when your shift's over, you drink with whatever dangling eyeballs in front of you. The nicer ones, anyway. It's a job? Then who's the boss? I'll give you a hint. He co-wrote the Bible with Santa Claus. It's the big I am. The million dollar man. God. 
I thought we were friends. How could you not tell me? Why would I need to tell you dolls can't really talk? Can it, you two? I warned you once already. One more outburst, you and everyone near you are getting their feet nailed to the top of Mount Vasectomy. Oh, wait. Maybe we should just egg those two idiots on. The bouncer... Sir, we'll have to deal with it, and then we can go upstairs. The bouncer will have to... How do you even know that'll happen? Doesn't that seem like... Advanced. Hey, whatever you want to do. I'm just a uh, squirrel trying to, trying to. Ugh, never mind. I'll follow your lead. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> okay. Hey, uh, guys, have, having a problem over here? Because maybe we can exacerbate the issue into a real disturbance. I mean, uh, help with whatever your thing is. Look, if you work here or something, relax. I'm not gonna get into a fist fight with this asshole. I've been kicked out of enough bars in hell to know the punishment's almost never worth it. I didn't think you'd take it so seriously. Yeah, I do work here, buddy, so it's therapy time or I'm tossing you out on your ass. Now, what's the issue? Don't worry about Danny, okay? He's just a little steamed because he found out his favorite stuffed animal from childhood. Georgie! <laughs> right, Georgie. The talking platypus. Well, he could only talk because I was possessing it all the time. And you don't think that's a betrayal? Jesus, what a scary motherfucker. And I thought the shapes my slinky made were off-putting. Yeah, you don't mess with a boy's childhood like that. I mean, do you even like Norman Rockwell? Hey, it was a goof! It wasn't a goof to me, dickwad! Hey, if I have to warn you one more time... I'm sitting, I'm sitting. I got sent to an institution, because no one would believe me! I still can't take a piss without carrying a sport for protection! Okay, okay, calm down. I don't want the bouncer taking any of my good organs. And anyways, you asked me to staple your baby sister's feet to the floor. Boy, this cavalier attitude towards your PTSD must make you pretty fucking bad, right? It's nothing worth getting angry about. I just fooled you for nine straight months, that's all. That's it, you giant suck of shit! You're gonna regret making me love you! I mean, b drowning that farmer's kid! You'll never make me regret that. Hey, guess what, guys? You won. Wanna know what you win? No. Ten years in the throat cutter. And it hasn't been washed in centuries. <laughs> but it'll be dirty. Hey, Van Dyke. Where's uh, the nearest singles bar? Hey, my plan worked. The bouncer left. Let's head upstairs, talk to Sam before he comes back. This, uh, wait, is this even the same bar? Welcome, welcome to Tommy Tulaney's Death Day Celebration. I saw you two talking to Tommy downstairs. Are you a victim or a fan? Wait, the, the guy we were, that's Thomas Tulaney, the serial killer? Kidnapped, tortured, and killed 13 young men over a period of six years. Yes, sir, Bob. This is really, really gross, guys. I mean, I know, I know we're in hell, and you're technically a monster. Thirteen! Painful deaths! Painful deaths! Have you seen Sam? Yeah, she's over on the balcony talking with Fornius. 